so it's like four o'clock in the morning here, but I couldn't sleep, so I figured I'd just come down and try and get out some of my thoughts about kind of what's been going on with magic and with wizards lately. Because I'll be honest, it's been a little bit crazy lately. So to start off, I just want to apologize for not having gotten a video out in the last couple of weeks. Um, it's been hard for me to make videos for a couple of reasons. One is just because I've been traveling and I did a trip with my family out to California and visited Yosemite and on the way back we stopped in Vegas and went to Magic 30 which is a whole nother story but also just because even before all of that um, you know, just the stuff coming out with Wizards with like uh, the reprints for the 30th anniversary booster packs and you know, just with some of the all the all the sets coming out and the wallet fatigue and all that It's just been a little bit weird for me lately as far as like magic and you know, my love for the game and my thoughts about Wizards and so yeah, it, it's just been a little bit hard for me to get the motivation to work on some of these videos when I'm feeling a little bit kind of put out just in general by wizards and magic. Definitely wanted to get my thoughts out and start a conversation with you guys just about what's going on with wizards lately and um, some of the crazy stuff that's been happening. So backing up a little bit, just going back a few weeks ago, uh, even before that, I mean, with all the sets that have been coming out, all the secret layers, all of the products coming out from wizards, you know, it's just been one thing after another and especially with you know some of the FOMO happening with all the sets like them coming out and saying hey we found this palette of legends and we're gonna be putting these cards not in the draft packs or even in the set packs uh, but we're gonna be putting them in the collector booster packs and you know the the idea I think was good on on them saying hey we found these legends cards let's give them back to you guys but who are they giving them back to they're they're not really giving them back to the majority of the players they're giving them back to the people that can afford to buy a bunch of collectors boosters um, and so that kind of put me out a little bit just a lot of things uh, since then happening that just added to that and then the big thing that happened that really put me out um, with wizards was you know them announcing the whole 30th anniversary booster packs and <laughs> I know there's been a big uproar online about that and people have been really Blasting wizards because of it and I, I think with good reason I mean obviously wizards is a business and they're gonna put the business first which it's kind of sad because usually, in my opinion, if you're a good business, then you'll balance that, you know? You'll take care of your customers, but you'll also focus on making a profit. And I think Wizards is way too far on the scale towards just trying to make a profit. And that's really sad because they're not taking care of their players and they're not trying to figure out, you know, what's best for their customers. I think the thing that really did it with the announcement of the 30th anniversary packs was that during the announcement, they said, hey, th this is a way for us to do a celebration of 30 years of magic and to give the people that didn't have a chance to open these old cards back in the day, to have a chance to open these up. And that's great and all, but then as soon as they say it's gonna cost $1,000 and it, it's gonna be random, so you could pay a thousand dollars and you might not even get any of the power nine you might not get any dual lands in there and even if you do it's it's not power nine or dual lands that you can use in tournaments yeah that was a, a crazy price point and they really set some bad expectations i think with that and that's really sad to me that they would say you know this is a chance for you people to open these kinds of cards and then put it out of reach. It's not for everyone, it's not for the majority of the people, it's just for the people that have the money that can afford it. And so, really I don't know why they did that. If they had come out and said, you know what, we want some people to be able to open these up, but it's not gonna be for everyone, it's gonna be something that's expensive. You know, if they had framed it up like that, then it would've came off a little bit better, but. And then, 
I'm not gonna go into it too much, but my Magic 30 experience was not great, I'll be honest. I think my son had a good time because uh, I try to keep him insulated a little bit from some of these things going on with wizards because, you know, he, he's just there to have a good time and to play some magic. And um, as a convention, I think Magic 30 kind of worked and they did a good job at having some cool sets and some good experiences going on there, like with the panels and, you know, the live recordings of game nights and, and stuff like that. And so. On that end, I think they did a pretty good job, but as far as like the tournaments and playing Magic and helping people to be able to play Magic, I, I think they failed on that end and they did not do a good job. They really did not make it easy for people to come there and to play Magic. And so that was really sad. And I had a pretty bad experience in one of the tournaments and I'm not gonna go into it too much because I want to keep this um, a little bit more positive and wholesome anyways. So it was not a great experience. And then to top it all off yesterday, you know, they had the countdown secret layer release and that was just a whole mess and debacle. It was just crazy. And I just know tons of people that wanted it and were looking forward to it, didn't end up getting it. And I don't know why. They let, you know, scalpers go in and buy 30 of those at a time. And I don't know why it was so limited so that, you know, not even a fraction of the people that wanted to get them could get them. Just a lot of bad things happening in a row this year. And, you know, Wizards is going to have a really good fourth quarter, you know, with their profits. And they're going to be able to tell all their shareholders that they're doing really well. But looking at it from a player's perspective and from the perspective of, of the community it's like I, I see a lot of people that are saying I, i'm done with magic and people are selling off their collections and it's kind of sad to see that you know people that have this deep love and appreciation for magic are just kind of losing it and are you know disappointed and frustrated and just leaving the game and that's super sad to see and it's super sad for me uh, because it's personally happening to me and you know i got to the point where i was like do i even want to make magic content anymore you know you know it's gotten to the point where i'm like why why am i trying to make content and support this game that doesn't want me to be a part of it and that's how it feels to me sometimes but you know yeah i'm, I'm trying to have a <laughs> trying to keep a, a little bit of a positive outlook um and i know i've had a lot of bad experiences lately but uh, we do have mtg summit coming up soon and i'm really hoping that uh, that turns out to be a good event and a positive event and hopefully that can kind of get me back into it and I'm kind of going all out on MTG Summit um, trying to get back you know some of my motivation for uh, magic and working on these videos and I'm going to be at MTG Summit and I'm actually going to be filming um, for the organizers and putting together for them, you know, like a promo highlight recap video. And so I'm going to be there filming and hopefully things go well. The event goes well. I think it will because I think they have kind of the right attitude and mindset where they're going, you know, players, magic players and community first. And so I think it's going to be a success and I definitely want to help out with that if I can. And so hopefully things turn out really well. So I know I went on a little bit of a ramble and just kind of spewed a lot of thoughts that I've been having lately. And, you know, it's kind of a disappointing time, but hopefully you guys are sticking in there like me. And I figured I wanted to end this video on a positive note. And so I'm going to open up a secret layer on camera just so you guys can can see me opening something up. Hopefully you got lucky and you got in with the secret layer yesterday. But if not, then then you can enjoy with me opening up this secret layer. But yeah, hang in there. Uh, if you're going to be at MTG Summit, you know, come say hi. I'm going to be there the whole time filming. And if you catch me and say hi, I'll have some, you know, swag, some 
prizes on me that I'm gonna be giving out. And so yeah, come say hi. And then I might make another video just about my Magic 30 experience. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, still making videos, still sticking in there. So you hang in there too, even though Wizards is going crazy and not treating us well, but yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.